We are going to transform my puny gateway into this huge gothic wall. And trust me when I say it turns out really cool. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. To start off this build, I was going to need a lot of deep sleep. Mostly because I tend to use that for everything I build with. And for a little added bonus, I found some diamonds. Once I had gathered all the materials I would need for the first tower, I immediately got to work. First by terraforming the land to make it even, and then starting with an outline and base for where the tower will sit. Now let's get to building. Alright, our tower is built, now I just need to add a few decorations such as lanterns and trapdoors, and then some walls to give it a little bit more detail. And just like that, the outside of our tower is complete, and the only thing we need to do is build the wall in between. And it's looking epic from afar, I cannot wait to finish this and see what it looks like. I'm not completely sure what I'm going to put up there. I may move my iron farm up there because it stopped working once I made that staircase and the zombie decided to despawn. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll move the iron farm up there and maybe put all of our other farms up there as well. Yeah, let's go ahead and move my iron farm up there. It quit working. We can fix it and let's just get it out of the way. And oh my gosh, this was probably the worst idea I ever had. This thing was such a hassle because I literally just took it apart brick by brick and moved it up here. And that wasn't even the hardest part. The hardest part was trying to keep the villagers safe while I finished building this thing and getting the zombie. Because no matter how hard I tried, the zombie always died. For the first zombie, I forgot to name the name tag, so I had to hurry up and go do that. But by the time I got back, he despawned. <laughs> so I just had to deal with the headache of moving all of my villagers up to their beds. And that just led to more frustrations. <laughs> I literally had to go get another villager from my village and push him all the way up the hill on a railway. And it was just so, so painful. I should have never moved this iron farm. I should have just left it. Now let's talk about the second zombie that I got. <laughs> he was killed by an iron golem. So I had to quickly get rid of him and find more zombies before it became daytime. And once again, I was struggling to get these guys in the composter. They knocked me off, iron golems were spawning, and they just would not go in until I realized I needed to open that trapdoor. So I got rid of the other zombie and tried to put the name tag on the zombie, but he just would not let me. So I smacked him back and then finally was able to name him Zombu. And as I was putting the button on top of the trap door, an iron golem thought he was going to be slick and spawn and kill the zombie that I had just named. So I had to quickly get rid of him, get rid of the box underneath of him, and get him as far away from this zombie as possible. So that way he could fall into the lava and my iron farm would be done. So now I think it's time to get back into the actual point of this video, which was building my walls and getting started on the second tower.
And there it is. Look how freaking awesome this build is turning out. Like, it looks so cool up there on top of the hill, glowing in all its glory. And it looks so good at night. And it definitely fits in with the whole, like, vibe of my village. And it's just... I don't know. It's just so cool. And I was originally going to build a third tower on the right, but I decided against it because I was building three more bigger towers in the background of the actual wall. And these towers were actually pretty difficult to build and took quite a bit of my time. So I went through and to make things easier, laid out where each tower was going to be and how big they were. And it gave me a better understanding of how big this build was actually going to be and where I was going to have everything laid out. And I decided to build the three towers in the back bigger than all the towers in the front. So that way, when you're down at the bottom, you could see the roofs of the towers in the back. I kind of got distracted though and kind of started working on the pathways and fixing those up rather than um, going through the trouble of building the huge towers. I was pretty much just procrastinating at this point and just struggling to get any motivation to continue building anything, honestly. So I ended up fixing all of my tools instead. And went down into my mine and collected deep slate. Anything to keep me from building. I also ended up trying to make a netherite hoe, but um, completely forgot how that even worked. So I took two netherite ingots and then realized I needed to make a diamond hoe. And then I forgot the smithing template. So I had to go all the way back home, grab one of those, and finally make me a netherite hoe. Which gave me the achievement, serious dedication. But I needed four more levels to completely enchant it to level 30 and get the best possible enchant I can. And that was literally what I got. I ended up getting fortune three, efficiency four, and then breaking three. I just needed to put mending on it. And the whole point of me making this hoe was so that way I could gather carrots and make myself some more golden carrots so I wouldn't starve to death. And then I went back to procrastinating by getting deep slate. <laughs> But it wasn't that bad because I found out that there's a slime chunk down here. So maybe that'll be beneficial sometime in the future when I need slime, I guess. And the other beneficial thing is that I got two double chests full of deep slate for building. But that's enough procrastinating. We really need to get back to building these towers. quick and easy third tower is done now let's just do a quick transition for the fourth and fifth tower bop and bop now the exterior of all of our towers are complete and i'm exhausted but i did get visited by one of these guys while i was trying to build and he ended up giving me one of the new ominous bottles with bad omen and this may come handy in the future Next step though was to build up our walls. We wouldn't want any like hostile mobs to just walk right past the towers and just, you know, murder us on hardcore, would we? No. So now we needed to build up all the walls so that way nothing can get through. And I also decided to try out the new tough blocks on our gateway and boy, oh my God, look how sexy that looks with the deep slate. Mmm. And I forgot to mention that I kind of used all of that deep slate I gathered while procrastinating on all the towers. So back to mining and fixing my boots because they were about to die and I needed better protection because I kept jumping off the towers and almost dying all the time. So I added feather falling three to my boots. Now let's make some more deep slate bricks and start laying out where the rest of the wall is going to be. And I was going to try my best to shape the wall the best I could with the terrain rather than just having one straight wall all the way across. So now the layout of all three of our major walls are built 
I just need to fix a little piece of the first wall and it will be done. I still need to expand the walls higher and add all the intricate details like the windows and all the other assorted blocks. And I also need to light it up because, well, this is hardcore and I don't want any hostile mobs in here blowing me up. So let's go ahead and finish these three walls before I do end up dying and losing everything. And bam, magic. Everything is done. It is definitely coming together for sure. I cannot wait to see the entire thing once it is complete from the house. I'm so excited. This is taking forever and it is paying off. Oh my gosh, just look at all the detail. It is for sure my favorite build so far. Let me show you guys what it looks like up close. I built it exactly like the other walls by using stairs around the iron bar windows with a lantern at the top which kind of gives it that eerie castle vibe. And I also added the little spikes at the top with a deep slate fence and iron bar to make it look more dangerous if you tried to climb the walls and get in. I can tell you the mobs are definitely not going to be able to get into this place as long as I keep it well lit since they can just magically show up out of nowhere sometimes. But we are not completely finished yet. We still have a whole other wall to build along with another archway on this side. So let's get to work placing bricks, terraforming the land, installing iron bars, and lighting up the place. Then the most useless guy showed up to trade and he ended up not being so useless after all because he had cactus! The one thing I really needed in order to get all the dyes in the game. I immediately ran back to my house for my emeralds and traded nine of them for three cacti. Which was kind of a scam, but I don't care. Yay, we have cactus! But now I need to go to bed because I'm getting attacked by phantoms. Go away! Go away! Get out of my bed, dude! I need to go to sleep. When I woke up, I immediately grabbed some sand and made a little cactus farm near my barn so we could have those growing while we continued our build. Which was pretty much done. I just needed to add this archway, which turned out pretty decent. But now we are on the final step. The interior of the towers. Let's collect some wood and get it done. 